We're also working developing news out of Warwick, where a number of people were sickened on the campus of CCRI this afternoon. The hazmat incident sending a campus police officer and one person to the hospital. Portions of that campus were also shut down as a precaution. And tonight we're learning more about what officials say happened. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has the latest developments live from Warwick. Steph? Well, the scene is now clear here in Warwick after hazmat crews were working in these woods behind the athletic fields. It comes after a police officer came in contact with a substance and then started to feel sick. Warwick police say it was a case of a good deed gone awry. We came out here with the best of intentions. The city's police chief, Colonel Stephen McCartney, says a CCRI security officer had notified police about a homeless man living in the woods who was seeking treatment. We were working on some recovery services uh, for him. A police officer and a civilian from the Providence Center who is contracted with the PD came out to talk to the man. The captain was looking at some of his equipment, reached down and noticed that there was a tin foil there. Suddenly he began feeling faint and he then uh, came, came out of the encampment, uh, told the dispatcher that he was not feeling well and was requesting assistance. Police say the officer was given Narcan by police who responded to the scene. The officer and the civilian were taken to the hospital and four other officers who responded also went to be checked out. They are not at this time exhibiting any symptoms uh, like the officer was. So, but they are once again going to be treated up there uh, out of an abundance of caution. When you hear Narcan, you think of opiates, but police say it's too soon to say what this substance was. They are going to have it tested to find out. And coming up new at 6, you'll hear from a student here on campus who tells us what they were told while this whole situation was going on. Live in Warwick, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Investigators are trying to determine what led to a hazmat situation on the campus of CCRI in Warwick this afternoon. And new at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has reaction from a student. She joins us now live from Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Steph? Well, all is clear here at CCRI in Warwick now after hazmat crews responded to the woods behind this athletic field here. It happened after a police officer said he felt sick after being near an unknown substance. It was early afternoon at CCRI when student government director of activities Michael Chapasco saw a flurry of emergency vehicles. I came out of my office uh, after hearing a lot of sirens and seeing a lot of police and fire trucks come through here. He says CCRI's alert system sent him this text. Commonwealth entrance at Warwick campus is closed because of hazmat incident in the woods. There is no danger to the community. We came out here with the best of intentions. Warwick's police chief, Colonel Stephen McCartney, says a police officer and a civilian recovery worker initially came to the area to meet with a homeless person in the woods who had told a CCRI security guard that he was interested in seeking drug treatment. The captain was looking at some of his equipment, reached down and noticed that there was a tin foil there. Suddenly he began feeling faint. McCartney says the officer called for help and fellow police officers arrived. He was given Narcan and taken to the hospital along with a civilian. Four other officers who were at the scene will also be checked out. And so a hazmat team did come to the scene to make sure everything was okay. They have left. Police say there is no danger to the public. And as for what that substance is, well, police say it will be tested to figure that out. Live in Warwick, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.